Hello everybody, today I will be doing a review of the Illusion Locket based off the movie The Illusionist. It is a locket that is actually in that movie and it's been much improved since that movie thanks to a man in Idaho named Jim Anderson and I will get to him later. Anyways, I received my Illusionist locket in the mail yesterday and speedy three day shipping, it used the US Postal service the flat rate box this is ten dollars for three day shipping there's no other option that's what you have to do that's fine i mean it's ten dollars but then you get it soon which i was okay with i ten dollars shipping is i mean it is what it is so i've already taken the liberty of cutting the tape and we will unbox this thing for the first time we have some bubble wrap some more bubble wrap Out comes bubble wrap that actually has something in it, and I believe this is the punch. Yes, it is. This is the punch in which you punch your own pictures that you put into the locket. So it's nice that it comes with a little punch, so you don't have to measure out your little image or anything like that. You get the punch with the locket itself. The other thing in the box is this beautiful gift box which actually has the locket itself in there. And also, the last thing in the box is your receipt from PayPal. Just telling you how much you paid and how much it was confirmed. Also included is your Illusion Locket um, Certificate of Authenticity right here. Printed on very nice paper, signed by Jim Anderson himself. It says the type of material is Coco Bolo Wood is what I chose, and my locket number is 2079. That is the 2079th locket that he has made, and that's mine. So I'm very excited about that. Along with instructions on how to, to put your picture in the locket. It has detailed pictured instructions which make it very easy to follow. If you have any trouble with that at all, I will be making a video on how to put your own images in there as well as business cards in the case you want to share with some friends about how you got this locket and some two-sided tape to put your picture actually into the locket itself. Right here is the very nice gift box. You open it up and out comes this leather box. Leather on top. It's a very nice box, I will not lie. And you open this box up and in here is your necklace if you ordered one as well as your illusion locket right here and how beautiful is this wood this coco bola wood and so far that's everything for the unboxing I'll hit you back with a review in just a second so this locket just arrived yesterday from Eagle Idaho in the United States of America completely handcrafted by Jim Anderson himself and let me tell you, he does a fine job. He does not shortcut anything, and he does it what he does very well. As you can see, this is a beautiful wood. I have a, a nice stain on the outside, and it looks so good. And this feels really, really solid as well. It's, it's wooden jewelry. Wooden jewelry is beautiful in itself. And this wood is stabilized. It is injected with plastic to make the wood itself waterproof. Now, when I say that, I'm not saying to take this and put it in a cup of water every night before you go to bed and take it out in the morning. It it might be able to take that on, but I highly doubt it. It's saying if you're in the rain, you get it wet, don't worry about it. I wouldn't swim with it on, it's it's jewelry, but it is waterproof because the wood is stabilized. It is beautiful. This necklace is on the website for ten dollars. This is black leather with sterling silver. Lobster clamp right there. Let the camera focus. It's a good length. It's ideally the perfect length. It's right above the chest on the neck. It's a very good placement for this as well. So here on the locket you can see I chose the butterfly design. However, there are more designs. There are a sailboat and a yin-yang peace sign, I guess you could call it. And I chose the butterfly because it's what's in the movie. It's very nice. And my girlfriend and I both like the movie The Illusionist. So I figured I'd chose, choose the one closest to that. I chose the wood because I love wooden jewelry. You can also get this in an acrylic, which 
is, um, I guess you could say it's a mixture between glass and plastic. If you like glass jewelry better than wooden jewelry, I would suggest that. You can get many different colors and designs on the web page. Maybe I'll try putting a picture up of all those different kinds later, but the acrylic is a man-made plastic. It's very, very hard to stabilize, and it's even more expensive than glass itself. So, both products are very good. I chose the wood. That's just my personal preference. I like this locket a lot. Now, what is this locket all about? You hand it to someone, they don't really know what it is until you tell them, and it's amazing what they look like when they figure out how this thing works, let me tell you. So, right here you got the locket. On the other side you have the butterfly upside down, and you have the loop up here, that's what the necklace goes on. So I'll take this locket here, and I'll show you. Just pop your finger to the side, and it opens this right up to a beautiful picture. Now, this picture is smaller than the other version because I chose the slim version of the I sorry, I chose the thin version. There is a slim version, which is a little bit thicker, which allows the picture to be bigger. So if you choose the slim locket, your picture will be eh, out to these gold not the gold edges, but the second layer of the gold edges. Your picture gets significantly bigger, but the locket gets significantly thicker. And I like the thin locket because it looks very nice when it's actually on somebody. So I sacrifice my picture size for the locket size itself. I believe I made the right decision. I think you can see a picture when it's two, I mean two inches in front of your face, so I believe I made the right decision. So you can see this locket opens up here, and this is very stable. For just running on it magnets and it's very complex actually, but you can hear it lock into place. Just swipes through, clicks into place. Very nice, very good feel to when you're flipping it. I've actually got it yesterday, I've just been holding it and flipping it around because it feels so cool. And then from that, you can rotate this bottom edge and it clicks right into a heart, which then opens up to reveal a second picture, which is different than the first one. So this heart can't rotate all the way around, but you can rotate it right back to where it was and flip it again right back to your original butterfly on the normal locket itself. When you rotate it to an, a heart and open it up, you can actually take this piece and twist it it's only if you twist it too. It's not like it's going to fall off. It's only if you twist this part, and then you can take that off, and that's how you change your pictures. I'll make another video about that, but this locket clicks back into place. Twist it back around, and there you have your illusionist locket, and that is exactly how it works. There's a little secret that I found out too, is you open it up and there's a picture, but if you flip this upside down, there's your other picture. It's all magnets that kind of switch it around and flip it around. And I would not suggest wearing it as a heart because it's kind of sideways when you wear it on yourself. I would twist it as a heart when you want to reveal the other picture. I would wear it like this. I mean, that's just my personal preference. I like this darker wood. You can get a lighter wood. You can get like a maple wood. They have many different options on the website. I'll probably write them in the description or put some pictures of the web page up. But... I know there is many different kinds, and Jim Anderson is a very nice guy. I, I emailed him, and within, within a day I got a response from him. I had a conversation. It's, it's not like you're buying from someone who's just going to take your money. He's a very nice person, and he likes to talk to anybody you'd like to talk to him. So if you have any questions about the locket, you can just email him or visit the website for specific step-by-step -step instructions, I guess. And... If you're interested in buying one of these lockets, please visit Illusion Lockets. Well, illusionlocket.com. I will show you right on here. This is Jim Anderson's card. There's a little beautiful locket right there. It is illusionlockets.com. Sorry, my camera's not focusing. There it is. Or if you'd like to email him, it's that right there. There's his name, handcrafted in Eagle, Idaho. So this, a very well-made product, handmade. That's why it might cost a little bit more. But boy, let me tell you, it's the nicest piece of jewelry I've ever bought. It's heirloom quality, so it will last. And it's also got a two-year warranty on there, just in case you don't believe it's as good as you think it is. If you don't like the locket itself, you can return it within 14 days by sending it back. But the return only counts towards like a trade credit, so you could trade it in for a different locket. If you get the wood and you'd rather have acrylic, you can send it back in and get the acrylic instead. 
So it's up to you. You have those 14 days to decide yourself if you like the locket or not, or you have the two years in case the locket were to break. I don't believe if you smash it with a hammer, he'll take it back, but if it breaks from functionality, the magnets wear out, which I highly doubt they will. They're very all high-quality products he puts into this, as well as his beautiful jewelry box, the necklace, the punch. It's all very well thought out. Certificate of Authenticity, I'm very happy with this product.